Hello and welcome back to Matt the Groundhopper channel and another episode of Who is Bigger? And this is going to be episode 11. On the screen now are the previous 10 episodes, so make sure you check them videos out if you haven't already seen them. So, two of the clubs that I'm featuring today, I've had several requests for me to compare the two, and they are Portsmouth and Southampton. But what I've done, I've created another cluster video. So if you haven't seen the previous cluster, Who's Bigger, which is the Lancashire Special, make sure you check that one out on screen now. But today's South Coast Special is going to be featuring Portsmouth, Southampton, Bournemouth and Brighton. So let's check out the video and let's find out who is the bigger and more successful club on the South Coast. As always, as you can see on the screen now, we have eight rounds of scoring. If this is your first time to this channel, each round is divided into different categories with points awarded per team within that category. With the average attendances over the years, you get double points along with the historic league positions. That's also worth double points and the honours and awards are worth triple points. So as always, we start with round one and capacity. Before we get on to round five, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button, drop a comment. I try and reply to all the comments, so always very interesting some of the feedback I get. And also as well, make sure you hit that subscribe button about there if you haven't already done so. It really, really helps the channel and I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you very much and on to round five.
And there you have it. But before I declare the winner, just a couple of notes on the teams in today's South Coast special. So firstly, Bournemouth. I think Bournemouth, to me, are a little bit of a hero club because only 10 years ago they were in League Two playing the likes of my team, Gillingham and Rochdale and Doncaster Rovers. And they managed to get to the top flight twice with crowds of 10,000. So I always look out for Bournemouth because it shows that you don't need to have a ground capacity size of 40,000 plus to survive in the Premier League. As have Brentford and also Luton Town have been promoted this year as well. So that's the first thing. Secondly, Brighton. I think Brighton and Hove Albion, they, they're a club that are just growing every season. They, they consolidate themselves in the Premier League. They seem to be a shoo-in now for never being relegated. And they just seem to be getting bigger as a club. So well done to Brighton. Thirdly, Southampton, who obviously won this. They've won this award. Um, they won all the head-to-heads against their rivals. And they've doubled their, since they moved into their St Mary's Stadium, they pretty much doubled their fan base when they moved out to Dell. So Southampton winning this. But for me, the biggest surprise in all this is Portsmouth. And the reason I say that is, although they didn't win this award, a friend of mine is a Portsmouth fan. And he always talks about how big Portsmouth can be as a club. And I was looking at the, the, the record attendance, over 50,000. I mean, you've won so many awards, over sort of honours over the years, which surprised me, if I'm being honest. And I just think if Portsmouth were to get a ground sort of the size of Southampton, they would expand Fratton Park. You know, they could actually be bigger than Southampton, if I'm being honest. Let me know. What do you think? Drop a comment. So that's my personal opinion. I think Portsmouth could be the biggest club on the South Coast if they made their ground bigger. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you for getting to the end. I really, really appreciate it. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Look out for my ground hopping videos um, on the screen now. There's a list of the grounds I've been to. The football season's only a few weeks away, so I'm going to be resuming my ground hopping adventures around the UK. And make sure you like and comment and check out my other Who's Bigger videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.